Hidden at the top end of A Beckett Street in Melbourne is an old Army Medical Corps drill hall. What once was occupied by Army personnel in training in the 1900s is now a place filled with decades of history, gorgeous images and fantastic volunteers who make the RHSV what it is today. Despite the RHSV's prominent location, many people are unaware of what work the society does. We hit the streets of Melbourne to spread the word. Help people with some sort of disability? I don't know. <laughs> Make statues? I don't know. Maybe uh, visit some staff or whatever, talk about it. No, no, no idea. idea, no. Not for me. Here at the Historical Society is a collection of books, images, and artifacts that boast a 30 year advance on the state library. How's that for impressive? Whether it be the diary of a 17-year-old milkman during the Depression or a personal collection of articles of ships and boats coming in and out of Victoria in the 1900s, it's these everyday stories that make the RHSV's collection so personal and so unique. As self-proclaimed grassroots leaders in the non-professional sector, this society is run by a team of dedicated volunteers. It is their passion for history that drives the society to continue its great work in presenting the wonderful history Victoria has to offer. And here to tell us a little bit more about the society's work and a little glimpse into some hidden history is Executive Officer Kate Princely. How are you going? Good. It's so lovely to have you here in my beautiful 239 of Beckett Street, Melbourne, where we store the state's most significant collection of local history. Here we are in the print room and photograph room, and we are the first place to start collecting photographs. So our collection is a gorgeous journey, way, way back to the first daguerreotypes, albums, glass plate negatives, glass plate slides, that all tell the lovely story of the state of Victoria as it grew from a gold colony and before that Grazier's colony into the sort of contemporary busy city that it is today. Um, I'd like to draw your attention to our beautiful paintings collection and in particular this beautiful naive picture of St Kilda. And this was actually a project from one of the volunteers and when he looked very carefully he saw in fact that one of the pictures, one of the ships had sinked mm -hmm. and through his own detective work he worked, he found out through our collection, using our collection and in fact, in St Kilda, a ship had sunk and he used our newspapers and our manuscript and our photographs and our letters collection to build up the story of the woman that lived here in St Kilda, did this painting and documented the day the boat sunk off the pier at St Kilda. It's a most delightful little piece of naive painting and tells one of the sort of lesser known stories from our past. <laughs> The Society is open to the public weekdays from 10am to 4pm. Entry is free, but a small fee is requested for use of the library's collection. Thank you for your time today. It's been a pleasure and we look forward to wel welcoming as many people as possible to the Royal Historical Society.